Hi everybody, it's Nani. Welcome back to my life. How y'all doing today? Yeah, today is a special kind of video for me. Um, I reached 100 subscribers. I didn't do it, you did it. You helped me reach 100 subscribers and I thank every single one of you. I never thought I would reach 100 subscribers. It was my little goal that I made for myself. Well, it's not a little goal. It's a pretty big goal, 100 subscribers. And, you know, I, I put it out there to you guys in a little challenge that when I reached 100 that I would tell you the gender of our newest grandbaby. And I'm going to. And I just want to thank you first. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You all are so kind. And I appreciate every single subscriber. I appreciate every comment, every like. You know, you guys just, you keep me smiling. Your comments are just amazing and they just lift, lift me up and, you know, it it's, makes it worth it. Plus, this is just fun. I love doing this and, you know, I, I appreciate the interaction that I have with you all. So anyway, thank you all. So now the big reveal. I took a thumbnail picture and I kind of, kind of tricked you guys by putting a little emoji over it so you couldn't tell what, what the baby is, but it's a girl. It's another girl. I am so happy. My husband is so happy. This is just amazing. Our daughter looks beautiful. She is glowing. She's due here in a few weeks and I'm not going to reveal the name. We do know the name, but you know, for, for personal and privacy reasons, I'm not going to tell you her name, but it's absolutely beautiful and it has meaning to both of them. And it just makes me so happy. I can't wait to see what kind of mother she turns out to be, which I know she's going to be amazing. She just has a very loving spirit and she's going to be a great mom and it makes me want to tear up. <clears throat> but yeah, it's another little girl and I love girl grandbabies. So yeah, we're just, we're tickled pink and literally <laughs> we're tickled pink. So yeah, but yeah, I'm going to show you a few things that I had picked up from the Dollar Tree when, you know, just to have on hand and this, all this stuff is going to go in her Easter basket, the baby's Easter basket. Cause what do you buy a baby? That's only going to be a few weeks old when Easter gets here. So we just picked up a few miscellaneous things and I showed some in a previous haul, different things that I had picked up a little, little toy from the dollar tree and a fork and spoon and, and just different kind of things like that. So this is some more, you know, some more things that we picked up. Oh my goodness. Where are my glasses? Here they are. These are by, Angel of Mine, and they're newborn. They're called just baby booties, and they're just cute. I just thought these little socks were so cute. And I believe people are actually using, there's like a hard um, plastic form that gives them their shape, you know, on, on the packaging like this. I think people are actually using that form inside here as gnome feet. They, they take the forms out and then paint them up or decorate them, cover them in, you know, in felt or whatever it may be, and use them as gnome feet. So if any of you crafters out there, if you're looking for something to use as gnome feet, you know, go to the baby section and you could probably even use this as is. You know, if you want a little pink valentine gnome, use these little booties. You know, but they had girls, boys, all types of prints and styles and, and colors and things. So I thought those were cute. And socks again. This is a little two-pack. I thought they were really cute. I'm sure the baby won't fit into them for a little while yet. But these are also from Angel of Mine Baby Socks. These are 12 to 18 months. You get two pairs in here. And I just thought they were really cute. The little pink and white flowers. And then the little butterfly and polka dot flowers. Really, really cute. And then we picked up this little bank. Everybody calls them different different things, but this is BPA free, zero plus months. They're, it's from Baby King. It's a printed pacifier with cover, silicone nipple, and I just thought the saying on there was so cute. It's sugar, sugar and spice, and it has a little cupcake beside it. I just thought that was adorable. And if she's anything like her mama, she's gonna have a lot of sugar and a lot of spice. So I just thought that was cute. And then to hold it, we got this. And this is the little, this is by Disney Baby. Disney Baby, guys. And it has Minnie Mouse on there. And it's BPA-free, complies with the flatulate. And I'm not sure I'm saying that correctly. Flatulate regulations. And it's the Minnie Mouse pacifier holder. 
you know, you clip it to their, their clothes or whatever, and it has the, it has the little clip, the little whatever ribbon with a clip at the end that you hook it to the, the bank and, you know, that way it doesn't fall on the ground or whatever, but we all know what those are. So we picked up that and I picked up another burp cloth and this is also by Angel of Mine. It's just a burp cloth and it's an 18 inch, 18 inch by eight inch. And this actually has kind of like the plastic backing on it. So if you had this over your shoulder and you know, the baby, the baby spit up on you, it's not going to go through the cloth right into your clothes. It, you know, it's just going to stay on the cloth because it has this plastic backing. But this is a real nice size, 18 inch, you know, it would go over, go over your shoulder very nicely. So yeah, you can see it. It has just the hot air balloons and the clouds. And I just, I think that print is so pretty. I love the whole hot air theme. I wish Dollar Tree would, would get more items with hot air balloons. So yeah, I picked those up and then you go through bottle brushes like crazy when you have a baby, which she is going to try to breastfeed. So I, you know, say a prayer that all goes well for her with this whole process. But this is also Angel of Mine and it's a baby bottle brush, BPA free. So yeah, we all know what a bottle brush is. You know, we all have them, even though we don't have babies anymore. You can use a bottle brush for so many things, getting inside jars and, and such. But yeah, it has the small end, like for inside the nipple and the handle, and then the um, the bigger for inside the actual bottle. So yeah, just a bottle brush. It had the pink handle, you know, it's a girl. And then I picked up two of these because I just think they are absolutely adorable. And they're the fleece baby blankets. Somebody actually suggested in my video, um, when I had shown some baby items, somebody had said that these fleece baby blankets, you know, were very nice quality. So I picked up two because I just absolutely love the prints and they are so soft. But I picked up this one and it has the, it's pink with the stars and the clouds and the rainbows. I'm having trouble keeping track of my glasses right now. And these are 30 by 30 inch. So that's a really nice size blanket. And you know, all you crafty people out there, why not get, in a, bun get a bunch of these and sew them together and make, you know, like a quilt, a quilt looking fleece blanket out of it. You know, and then this one, same thing. It's, I'm sure it's going to be 30 by 30. I'm not even going to look, but it has the all different colored hearts on a yellow background. And it's a very pale, I don't know how that's coming across to, to you, but it's a very pale, soft yellow. It's not, you know, a bright, striking, hurt your eyes yellow. But I just thought these were so, so pretty. And they had other prints there too, but I figured these were the most girly looking. So I picked these up and I see people doing a lot of crazy things with the, the fleece blankets, you know, using it for their animals and their critters and all kind of things. So, the, you know, these come in handy for more than just babies. So yeah, that's that's what we picked up so far for in our new little granddaughter's Easter basket. And again, thank you so much for helping me reach my, you know, my first goal. Next one's gonna be 500. So yeah, I can't wait to, to hit that one. And I appreciate you all. I thank you all. You have a great rest of your day. If you would, please say some prayers for our daughter. And, you know, for her next few weeks. <laughs> we know, all know about having a baby. And, you know, just say some prayers. You know, she's great, though. Everything is, she's healthy. The baby is healthy and growing. And, you know, just, I get emotional, I guess. <laughs> Sorry. So anyway, yeah, congratulations to us and congratulations to you guys for helping me reach my goal and I truly appreciate it and I'll talk to you again here soon. Peace.